Today we're doing a reintegration exercise. Um, reintegration is the fifth and final phase of uh, all personnel recovery operations. Um, so as a SEER specialist, we're uh, personnel recovery experts. SEER stands for Survival, Evasion, Resistance, Escape. So from start to finish, we help plan and uh, execute personnel recovery operations. And part of that is the, the reintegration. And really, this is, it's a joint effort. It's an Indo-PACOM reintegration plan. It's not just Air Force. It's not just SEER. It's not just Navy. It's, it's to make sure that our entire joint force has this reintegration program. And one of the cool things about today is that we have our Japanese partners here. They don't currently have a reintegration program. And so what we're trying to do is show them um, a good example of how uh, the US military does reintegration in hopes that they can set up their own reintegration program. It's really meaningful that we have our JASDF observers here today because uh, we want to be good partners. We're happy to share the, what we've developed and share what we have with them. Uh, U.S. Naval Hospital Okinawa is really perfectly placed to be in a state of readiness to conduct reintegration exercises. If you think about somebody who is isolated and, and recovered by friendly forces, if we can do a reintegration here, we can keep them clo closer to their families, keep them closer to their units, so they can get them back home, get them back to duty faster. As a SEER psychologist, during reintegration, I'm really helping people to recognize that what they're experiencing is normal. We're not treating patients who are sick. We're really helping people who have been through an abnormal situation uh, to get through to the other side, return to their families, return to duty. We keep faith with anybody who's been isolated, captured, who's been in any kind of mishap. We're here to, to follow all the way through. If somebody's isolated, you're not forgotten. If somebody's recovered, we're going to take care of you. If somebody's suffering, we're going to make sure you get what you need so you can get back to your family and return to duty if possible.